Stay with me while I review the latest creation and much awaited new fragrance from Mugler, which is the Alien Man. Hi and welcome to Ellie Smiles and today I'm joined by a very special guest and this is Timbo who you've heard me talk about a lot of times on our videos and our channel and today we are going to be reviewing the Alien Man, the latest creation from Thierry Mugler and this one was launched literally a couple of weeks ago, so May 2018 and it's like the male counterpart to the Ladies Alien which was launched in um, 2005. So we're going to spray it anyway so that Tim can try it on his skin and just see how it settles and see what he thinks to it. So hello Tim. Hello Tim. <laughs> there you go. There and then you go. can spray that on you. So just a little bit about Thierry Mugler himself. He was uh, born in France. He's a French fashion designer and also a director. And he's really well known for creating the black dress worn by Demi Moore in Indecent Proposal. Bet you didn't know that, Tim, did you? I don't watch films like that. No. So anyway, this uh, fragrance was created by Jean-Christophe Herault, who's made fragrances for Balenciaga and also Chopard and Mugler, to name a few. So we've heard quite a lot about the Alien Man. And this one is classed as a woody leather aromatic or even an oriental woody. But it's supposed to be created in three vibrations and the top notes are the electric vibration. So in there, are you picking anything out in particular? I think initially it smells quite sweet. It's sweet and I'm getting a lot of powder. Yeah, well it's in the top notes you've got beech wood you've also got dill and you've got star anise now star anise is where you get that licorice sweet but definitely you can pick the dill out and it's quite herbal you can definitely pick up the aromatic essences so that's like the electric part the electric vibration and then there's a the sensual heart vibration and that's because in there you've got leather are you picking the leather out because you love leather don't you i can smell the leather in it and it's also got cashmere and wood, which is also in the Ladies Alien, the Parfum. And it also has Osmanthus, which is like a florally note. So although it's a masculine fragrance, you do get some florals in there. What's it smelling like on your skin? That smell. Yeah, you see that? I, I can definitely get that sort of like leatheriness on there. But that might just be your skin tip. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> well, as you know, I do like leather fragrances. It does remind me a little bit of the Bentley Intense. Mm. Now, I really like Bentley Intense, but this is, it's similar, but it's sweet. Mm. And when you first tried it the other night, you loved it, didn't like it. And then loved it once it settled, didn't you? It took a while to settle. The first burst, I really like. It's ever so fresh. It's not what you're expecting at all. Not from a Moogler fragrance, anyway. It's well, quite mature, that... isn't it? It's like grown up. See that first burst, Tim, will be that <laughs> electric. And then, like we say, you've got the sensualness, but then you've got magnetic in the base, which is white amber. So, to, all together, it definitely is more woodsy and aromatic, I would say. It is. And now that this is dried down, it's really quite clean and fresh. So when do you reckon you would wear this then? To be honest, I think this would be something that you'd wear every day. I think they've... I was reading a lot of the reviews of it and a lot of people were saying they were disappointed or they were expecting more, but I think they've sort of put in a curveball here and mm. brought in something that's quite grown up mm. it, I'd wear this for work it's I think people associate Moogler with sort of like really out there sort of fragrances so I think that they thought that this was going to be something really obscure whereas I think this is a really wearable fragrance and I think like you that it could be something that you could pop on during the day wear in the evening it's definitely got that that I think it's not overpowering, 
but it is sort of like quite a powerful and seductive fragrance. At first I thought it it wouldn't be that long lasting either, mm. but after I'd worn it the following month I could still smell it and it was quite nice. And I think it's definitely the fragrance that grows on you. The, the more you smell it, it's quite addictive, the more you want to smell it. So you'd be quite happy to wear that then? I'd be very happy to wear it. I think one of the things that makes it addictive, there's, as I said, there's that real animalistic, and you just can't help but... That might be sort of like part of the leather, the leather it effect. Because, be. I mean, you like that anyway, don't you? You like I fragrances. Do. So I would say that anybody that maybe likes those leathery fragrances, such as the Fahrenheit, some of the um, Armani fragrances, the Bentley or even the Valentina Huomo, this would be a really good fragrance to, to try. We also thought that this had sort of like essences of the Zadegan Voltaire, which mm. we've actually done a review about earlier, if you want to take a look at that. But yeah, I'm loving this one. I think this one's going to do really well. And I think it's quite surprising because it is quite different. It is, and not in the way that everybody's expecting, I think. Yeah. Pleasantly different. It is, yeah. very much so. And at the moment, do you want to show them what they're going to get? Gift with purchase. So there is a lovely gift with purchase, which is this wash bag. And just open the wash bag. And in there, there's a little surprise. Which, what's that then, Tim? Um, can I put my glasses on? <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't do this to him, you see. <laughs> it is um, an Alien Man Moogler hair and body shampoo. So the lovely thing about that is that you're able to layer it, which is going to make the fragrance last on the skin longer. But the fact that you can sort of like just put it all over. Excellent. I yeah. like layering. Yeah. So that's going to be really good. So go along, try this out, pick up a sample. Um, this is going to be really fantastic because we've got Father's Day coming up next month in June. So this might be a really good buy. So. Go and check this out. Let me know what you think to it, whether you agree with Tim, who likes the leathery fragrances. And this is Tim's first time on camera with me. Did you enjoy it, Tim? Yes, yes. I, I really yes. enjoyed it. Anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe uh, to our channel and also to leave your comments. And we'll see you again soon on Ellie's Mouth. So bye for now. Say bye, Tim. Bye, bye. Tim. Bye.